Welcome to Puzzles and Solutions. Today, I will go through an IQ test created by the magazine Illustrated Science. I'm not a big fan of reading magazines, but when I was in high school, I always used to solve these small puzzles in the back of these magazines. This is how the IQ test looks. We have five segments, visual, linguistic, memory, logic, and calculation. You may notice that the last part is named bill instead of calculation, this is because in the region we have the same word for calculation and bill, and Google Chrome can't distinguish which one is meant there. In this video, I will only go through the visual and calculation segment, because the linguistic and logic is translated badly, and the memory is kind of boring to watch someone else do. Okay, so the visual part has no time limit, and you're supposed to find which image fits into the question mark box. This is the introduction puzzle, and we can see that every image in each column is identical. Answer 4 is correct. Puzzle number 1. This is a linear puzzle disguised as a matrix puzzle. Let's convert it back into a linear puzzle. It should be clear now that we have this constant rotation between each picture. To make it even more clear, you can look at any image and the image that is 4 images ahead of that image. Then we see a 180 degree rotation. For a few examples, we can see a 180 degree rotation between the 1st and the 5th, the 2nd and the 6th, and the 3rd and the 7th. To solve the puzzle, let's look at the transition between the 1st and the 5th image, plus the transition between the 5th and the 9th image. 180 degrees plus 180 degrees equals 360 degrees. So the answer is the first image rotated by 360 degrees, meaning that the answer is identical to the first image. Answer 4 is correct. Puzzle number 2. This is a symmetry puzzle. I think most people can see the solution instantly, but it's a bit harder to explain why it's correct besides just saying that there is symmetry if we pick this answer. Now, I know how to explain this. This is radial symmetry, which we find a lot in nature. For example, we have clovers, which have a 120 degree radial symmetry, and starfish, which have a 72 degree radial symmetry. The puzzle has a radial symmetry of 90 degrees. Instead of thinking that this puzzle has 9 images, think that the puzzle has these 4 segments. We have left, top, right, and bottom. The top, left, and bottom segment are all the same, rotated by 90 degrees around the center. So think that the puzzle has four images and they're all identical and we have this unusual transition between the images. Now it would fit the pattern that the right side was also the same, considering that the three other sides are the same. This matches answer 3. Answer 3 is correct. Puzzle number 3. This is a 2x2 two two matrix puzzle. If you look at the first column, we see that if we mirror the first image vertically, it's identical to the second image in the column. To mentally visualize this, I prefer to do a 3-dimensional rotation across the vertical axis like this. All the images in each column are identical now. Answer 4 is correct. Puzzle number 4. For this puzzle, if we look at the diagonals from top right to bottom left, we see that in each diagonal, every image is identical. Now, if we look from the top left to the bottom right, we see that the next blue diagonal always has one more corner than the previous one. So 3 corners, 4 corners, 5 corners, 6, and then the answer will have 7. Answer 5 is correct. Puzzle number 5. If we look at the first and the third column, when we move down, we decrease the amount of corners by 1. So in the first column, we have 5, 4, 3. And in the third column, we have 4, 3, 2. Now, a polygon can't have two corners, so it collapses into a line. Answer 4 is correct. Puzzle number 6. Another 2x2 two two puzzle. Here we just invert the colors in the rows. Now invert, and the answer should be identical to the third image of the matrix. Answer 4 is correct. Puzzle number 7. Here we're supposed to find out which answer fits into this image. This is quite easy if you focus on the bottom right corner. 
we see that we have white on top and yellow on bottom. And if we look at the answers, this only matches answer 2. Answer 2 is correct. To show it visually, I copy pasted answer 2 into the image and we can see how well it fits. Puzzle number 8. First, let's ignore the color and focus only on the shapes. We can see a repetition from top left to bottom right, like this. This would indicate that the answer is a triangle, so we can eliminate the circle and the square answers. Let's add the color back. I found two indications that green is correct. First of all, there is no repetition of color in rows or columns. In the last column we have red, and in the last row we have blue, so the answer can't be red or blue, meaning that it has to be green. The other indication is that on the diagonals from top left to bottom right, the squares have three colors, red, blue, green, and the triangles have three colors, red, blue, and unknown. Now it would fit the pattern if they both had the same colors, so it makes sense that the answer is green. Answer 4 is correct. Puzzle number 9. This is a rotation puzzle where we have the same amount of rotation between the images. I found it easier to reduce this to a 2x2 two two matrix. In the first column we have a 180 degree rotation, so it makes sense that in the second column we also should have a 180 degree rotation. Rotating the second image by 180 degrees would make it identical to answer 1. Answer 1 is correct. Puzzle number 10. This puzzle features a sheet of paper, which is green on one side and yellow on the other side. In the first row it shows the paper in the front, and in the second row it shows the paper in the back. Looking at the first row, we first fold the top right and the bottom right corner to the center of the paper, and then we fold the top corner to the bottom. This means that in the second image of the second row, we fold the top to the bottom, but we do this away from ourselves meaning that this side would still be all yellow. Answer 4 is correct. Puzzle number 11. If we look at the columns, we have some mirroring effect going from the first row to the second row, and then the same mirroring effect going from the second to the third row. Now, if we have two identical mirroring effects, it's the same as having no mirroring effect at all. So the first row is identical to the third row, meaning that the answer is identical to the third image. Answer 1 is correct. Puzzle number 12. This is another symmetry puzzle, but instead of radial symmetry, we have bilateral symmetry. The difference is that radial symmetry features rotation, while bilateral symmetry features mirroring. For example, we have this fly. The left side is the mirror image of the right side. Or as a human, your left side is the mirror image of your right side. So bilateral symmetry. This is the axis of symmetry and we can visualize the mirroring as a three-dimensional rotation around this axis. We see that the missing square is identical to answer 2. Answer 2 is correct. Puzzle number 13. This is a linear puzzle which features rotation. To go from the first to the second image, we rotate the image by 45 degrees clockwise like this. And then from the second to the third image, we rotate it by 90 degrees clockwise. Then from 3rd to 4th, we have 135 degrees clockwise, so we increase by 45 degrees. From 4th to 5th, we have 45 degrees more, 180. And finally, from 5th to answer, we have 45 degrees more, so 225 degrees. And we get this image. This image is identical to answer 5. Answer 5 is correct. Now, I'm pretty confident that answer 5 is correct, but when I tested the answers, I found out that answer 4 is officially correct. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that this puzzle is flawed. Puzzle number 14. This is an addition puzzle in the rows and the columns. Going by the rows, in the first row we have that 1 inside plus 1 inside equals 2 inside. In the second row we have that 1 inside plus 3 outside equals 2 outside. So the inside squares and outside squares cancel out. In the third row we have 2 inside and 2 outside, so they all cancel out, leaving no squares. Answer 5 is correct. Puzzle number 15. To explain this puzzle, I will go through each of the images. In the first image, we have two curved lines and two intersections. In the second image, we have one curved line and one intersection. In the third image, we have four curved lines and four intersections. In the fourth image, we have four curved lines and four intersections. And then 2, 2, 0, 0, 2, 2, 1, 1. 
This means that for every single image in the matrix, we have the same amount of curved lines as intersections. Now, if we go through the answers, the first answer has four curved lines and three intersections, so we can eliminate it. The second answer has one curved line and two intersections, so we can eliminate it. The third answer has zero curved lines and zero intersections, so we can't eliminate answer three. The fourth answer has two curved lines and zero intersections, so we can eliminate it. The fifth answer has zero curved lines and two intersections, so we can eliminate it. This leaves only answer three left, so answer three is correct. This was the visual segment of the IQ test. Let's skip to the calculation segment. Each puzzle is a math problem and you have 30 seconds on each puzzle. Before starting to go through the puzzles, I just want to share my method for finding the average of numbers really quickly. So normally you would take two plus four plus six divided by three. So the total amount of value divided by the amount of numbers. Imagine now that we have three containers which represents each of these numbers. In the first container, we have two units. In the second, we have four units. And in the third, we have six units. So the average is amount of units divided by amount of containers. As long as the amount of units and containers stays the same, then we calculate the same average. So we can move two units from six to two. So we get the average of four, four, and four, which of course is four. So just balance out the numbers until they have equal value. And that's the average. So what is the average of two, four, and six? Two units goes from six to two. We have the average of four, four, and four, which is four. Puzzle number one. If a pile of wood consists of 30 kilos of wood and 15.5 kilos are burned, how many kilos are left? 30 minus 15.5 equals 14.5. 14.5 is correct. By the way, you're supposed to calculate this in your head. I'm just using the calculator as a visualization of the calculation. Puzzle number two. If 10 missionaries have three children each, but only two thirds of the children survive, how many are surviving? This is just 10 times three times two thirds, which is 20. 20 children survive. Puzzle number three. A bridge consists of 10 sections, each 2.5 meters long. How far is it from the edge to the center of the bridge? This is 10 times 2.5 times a half. So 12.5. 12.5 meters is correct. Puzzle number four. You have three water bottles that hold 600 milliliters. Two are full and the third is only two thirds full. How much water do you have in total? So 600 times two plus 600 times two thirds is 1,600. 1,600 milliliters is correct. Puzzle number five. What is the average of 12, six, and nine? Three goes from 12 to six. We have the average of nine, nine, and nine. Nine is correct. Puzzle number six. Three shirts are on sale with a 50% discount on the regular unit price, which is $12. How much does three shirts cost? So three times 0 0.5 times 12 is 18. Or you can just think that 12 divided by two is six, six times three is 18. So yeah, $18 is correct. Puzzle number seven. A computer screen has a resolution of 1500 times 1500 pixels. How many pixels will it be in total? First, we know that a thousand times a thousand is a million, and the two first answers is below a million, so they can't be correct. Next, we know that 15 times 15 is 225, so the three first digits of the correct answer will be 225. Answer four is correct. Puzzle number eight. A flat rock bounces three times at distances of four, 10, and 14 meters from the beach. What is the average distance between the following bounces? To calculate this, I just took the highest minus the lowest and divided by amount of segments. So 14 minus four divided by two. Five is correct. Puzzle number nine. The number of protesters increases three times every three days. If there are three protesters on day one, how many will come on day 10? So three times three times three times three, or rather just nine squared, which is 81. 81 is correct. Puzzle number 10. It takes 10 minutes to saw a tree trunk into six parts when cutting one part at a time. How many minutes will it take to cut a stem into 12 parts? Okay, so the first scenario is that we have a log and we cut it into six parts, which takes five cuts. So two minutes per cut. And the second scenario is that we have a log and we cut it into 12 parts, which takes 11 cuts, two minutes per cut. So two times 11 is 22. 
2022 is correct. After answering the test like I did it in this video, I got this as my final score. There is also an IQ score, but I answered randomly on the three other segments, so it's not really relevant. Also notice that I don't have the maximum score on the visual part, and that's because on puzzle 13, I answered what should be correct and not what is officially correct. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the next puzzle. Bye bye.